ICP has one of the wildest charts in crypto. It's a top project with lots of bullish sentiment. However, the more you zoom out, the worse the chart looks. But we all know that the out of control price action at launch, followed by an incredible dump, was a result of FTX manipulation at the top of the 2021 bull run. Watch this video to the very end to find out why ICP is here to stay and what actually makes it different than every other blockchain in the space. Let's get it. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> Welcome to Bitboy X. I'm your host, the Bitboy. If you're bullish on the internet computer protocol or even the insane clown posse, then make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more. I found a video on ICP that explains why I'm bullish on the tech of internet computing. So let me walk you through it. Now, this is gonna be a short video, so make sure you pay attention. A sovereign platform for global full stack software. Let me translate that from nerd to regular person. It means a decentralized platform for smart contracts called canisters to host entire applications. So nothing is cloud hosted. The entire software stack lives right on ICP. And this is something we don't see with other crypto projects. And I can tell you that when I met with Dominic Williams, the founder of Divinity Foundation behind ICP, this is exactly what he showed me and he talked to me about. And I can tell you, nobody is doing what they're doing in this area, which means on ICP, there's a secure arena that doesn't touch the outside world where users can store data in intellectual property so that it's fully owned by them. One of the most interesting things about ICP is the entry point. You have to create an internet identity which creates a verifiable user experience. They do it in a decentralized way so that you can prove you are you without having to give up all your personal information. They use cryptographic systems to ensure the integrity of all data and not your social security card. Because of this, ICP provides a foundation for a more trustworthy and transparent internet by enabling into end ownership of data and intellectual property, providing verifiable user experiences and making it easier to distinguish between real and fake content. It uses something called sovereign Bitcoin architecture. We already know that Bitcoin is the most secure of all the cryptos out there because it's the most decentralized and it uses proof of work to validate transactions. It's old tech that just works, like how a landline can't be bricked by a software update. ICP leverages the core principles and strengths of Bitcoin's design through the decentralization of its network nervous system or NNS and chain key technology, which is essentially the cryptography it uses to secure the platform. It also uses WebAssembly and canister isolation to model Bitcoin scripting language and isolate smart contract functionality. ICP subnet, well, it can adapt to varying transaction volume, just like Bitcoin. And it has an open source ecosystem like BTC that encourages community involvement. Have I lost you yet? Good, because uh, we're just getting started. <laughs> and speaking of getting started, check out my exclusive affiliate link for Femex and get a start with using Leverage to Trade. Are you looking for a reliable crypto exchange with low fees and high security? The search can be overwhelming with so many options out there. Join Femex using my affiliate link to get up to an $8,800 trading bonus right now. Experience top-notch trading features, low fees and strong security. Click the link in the description to get started today. Now let's talk about the big three and ICP's crypto completed full stack, which essentially means that ICP is fully stacked, fully chunky, and it offers everything an L1 blockchain could ever hope to offer all on just one chain, just like other major blockchains. True dApps are all on chain. And the combination of L1 smart contracts and the ICP cloud E2E or end-to-end on-chain software, which means, you guessed it, every single component of the dApp is entirely on the ICP blockchain which really is the overarching theme of this project and why many people think it's so great. It's different. It's cryptographically sound software around global state machines, which is a word salad way to say the ICP canisters act like many machines that interact with a global network of computers that are all connected and completely isolated from the outside world. They want to use this to provide a decentralized and secure foundation for building and deploying AI applications, DAO infrastructure, landing pages, unique user experiences, NFTs, and more. They want to have on-chain Bitcoin ETF management, which is a future on ICP where Bitcoin-based exchange-traded funds or ETFs are created and managed 
it's entirely on ICP. They also have a Telegram style messaging app that they say is fully integrated with Bitcoin called OpenChat. It's secure and privacy focused. And like everything else on ICP, it exists entirely on chain with verifiable entry points using ICP's internet identity. It has RWAs through Origin, a foundation out of Switzerland, which is certifying the authenticity of physical objects right on the ICP blockchain and an end-to-end -end on chain system for tokenized gold, which includes a gold backed stable coin using gold as a currency. It has an end to end AI smart contract platform, academic interest from institutions like Lucerne University, Brown, Yale, and the Definity Foundation, of course. They also have something they call governmental sovereign cloud, meaning governments can use it too. And they even want to create something called network states which right now is just a concept where online communities would have their own governance, economies, services, and maybe even physical land. You see, I've got the Swiss flag there with a question mark, which is definitely a stretch, but you can see how online communities might need some kind of governance at some point in the future. ICP also envisions a future where big tech uses ICP's cryptography to delegate complex and costly problems and pivot where they are now in Web 2 right into Web 3 and dominate on things like intellectual space, royalties and licensing. They believe in a future where international organizations like the United Nations and other global governmental bodies, well, they could leverage ICP to build and operate their digital infrastructure and services. They want to see things like universal trusted credentials and smart cities. We've seen ideas like this before with Internet of Things projects like IOTA, which were a whole lot of hype and not a lot of real life execution. But one day machines are going to take over, maybe not in the iRobot kind of way, but definitely in the Elon Musk kind of way. And the internet of things will inevitably take over where machines can talk to each other and pay other machines to use their capabilities. And this is hard to understand. Just picture a decentralized factory where machines are connected and communicating, doing all the work and whoever owns them is being paid for their use. It's going to happen. And this is why ICP is positioning itself to win the market share like many other crypto projects. But again, ICP leverages that end-to-end -end technology that keeps everything verifiable within the internet computer ecosystem. So if you think ICP ended when Sam Bankman fried shorted it to death, you're wrong. It's a crypto layer one that's constantly building and one that I'm very bullish on for the upcoming bull run. If you wanna talk about innovative crypto projects like this with other members of the Bit Squad, make sure to join our community there on Discord. The link is down below in the description. That's all I got, be blessed, Bit boy out.